How's everybody doing? My name is Jamel Khalees and I'm the president of the Wilkes-Barre NAACP and we are here with another minority owned business highlight and we have uh, Daniel Valentine. I have Valentine X Studios on the Wilkes-Barre Square. Nice, nice, nice. So a pleasure to be back sitting down yeah. with you again, man. Like, like I said, it's our second time, but we're going to make sure we get it right this time. Yeah. So let's just let's just start from the top, man. Let's just give everybody like a, a high level dive into like your background and like what brought you here yeah so i started out as a hip-hop artist you know i actually went to college to be a sound recording you know engineer mm, nice. um i've been here i've been here you know 10 plus years i'm originally from brooklyn new york um i i spent five years in florida so i traveled around a lot i got i got a bit of culture you know within myself but uh yeah, you know, I'm Puerto Rican. Um, I have a wife and two girls, two little girls. You know, uh, my daughter, my daughters are seven and nine years old right now. So nice. So they, yeah, they, they, they're little, but not too little. Yeah, they they picking up my camera. You know, <laughs> okay, dropping it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what comes with it, man. Okay, that's that's what's up. That's what's up. So you've been in this area for ten plus years. Yeah. Well, what what brought you to this area? That's my favorite question to ask. Uh, uh, it was family, you know, it was family in the Twin Towers, you know, when the Twin Towers fell, you know, we we located to Florida and, you know, from Florida, I wanted to to uh, be reestablished with my family. I'm I'm an orphan in New York State, you know what I mean? So I kind of went through the foster care system, mm. you know what I mean? And, and that's what that's what caused me to kind of like move around a bit. Um, but yeah, part of the reason part of the reason I came to Pennsylvania was to get closer to my immediate family, my sister. Nice. You know, uh, shout out Christina Davis, man. She's 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 the one that she's the one that definitely put me on, man. She helped me out a lot. Facts, facts. That's that's so dope to hear. We actually heard. We sat down with a um, another dope person in the community, and she kind of shared the same thing: is that she was in foster care in New York, and yeah. kind of came to this area to reconnect with her sister mm -hmm. that she hadn't seen in a while. So that's. That's that's beautiful to hear, you know, yeah. just being able to reconnect and then finding your own way, you know, in the area. So, like, you said a hip-hop. What led to photography? Oh, man. So, I was... I was doing, we were, we were hiring, you know, uh, cinematographers, directors and stuff to shoot our music videos, mm -hmm. you know, and we, we ended up getting a camera ourselves and stuff. I was a part of the Hive with, with uh, Depp J. He's in the area. He's a really uh, dope engineer in the area right now. Um, but yeah, I was a part of the Hive. We, we uh, ended up investing in our own camera and I had the camera a couple times where, you know, I was utilizing it myself and, you know, I fell in love with creating treatments for the music industry, for anybody that knows about hip hop videos. Uh, you got to create a treatment in order to have, you know, a successful video. Mm. And a treatment is basically coming up the storyline, coming up with, mm. you know, what, what's, what's the story behind your video. And, and uh, I fell in love with it. You know, I fell in love with the camera. And, you know, once I, once I picked up a camera myself, you know, then I just, I just kept going, man. Right. Kept going. Right. That's dope. That's dope. That's a good little gem, too, for those who don't know the treatment. Like, yeah. To, um... Just speaking from an organization, an organizational standpoint, um, when we're speaking and, and developing an idea with a, a cameraman or something, that's one thing that we missed. Mm -hmm. Is you know what do we want a video to look like before even going into the event, yeah. the day of? So that's something that I think that is is dope to hear. Yeah, like, that's it's very, a, I didn't mean to cut you off. No. Uh, it's basically it's the the same layout with business you know right. in business you need to have a business plan mm -hmm. you know you need to have a marketing strategy you know what i mean and these are things that these are things that actually just like it's a it's a good conversion to this conversation like we're going to be doing seminars and stuff and we're going to be helping out with the community with with giving small business owners the opportunity to learn about business you know, so it's a, it's a, it's a little bit more that we're doing as, you know, with, with our company. Right. Okay. You know? So definitely, so, so I see some, some branches getting added to the, yeah. to the studio tree. So let's dive, let's dive to the root of it and try to like, so mm. I can, we, we can all figure it out here. So mm. you picked, you picked up the cameras and, and that started working for you. And then, so now 
how was it where you like shooting on the street? Did you get a studio? How did how yeah. did we get to now where we are actually in a physical space and now you're helping people with their small business? Yeah, well. so three years ago I was I was working in a marketing company for six years. Mm. You know, and uh, I had I picked up my camera while I was working. Uh, I was afraid to shoot people. Mm. You know what I mean? This was three this was three years ago, three and a half years ago. I was afraid to shoot people, so I would go to uh, the woods, you know, and shoot, you know, plant life and and trees, and that's what got me into it. I ran into a situation where I went to Francis Slocum, and all my friends know this story. Uh, I rented a boat, and the boat that I rented um, sank on us with all of our with all of our gear. I saved I saved my bro Jerry's gear, man. He still, <laughs> I saved his gear, and when I ju I jumped out the water, you know, I forgot that my my all my gear was around my neck, mm. and that's that was all in water. And I'm like, yeah, I got everything. I got everything. You know I mean? it, was, <laughs> it was cool. It was cool, but. Um, at that point, I had to make a decision, like, do I take this serious or I'll just leave the camera in the water? Right. You know, leave mm. this situation in the water. That was, the, that was the, um, my, my point there. And, and I decided to take it seriously. You know, um, I, I, got, I got my money together and I went professional. Mm. And that's when I was like, you know what, let me, you know, I was connected with my bro, Jared, you know, which he's a photographer in Virginia as well. We were together and we started, we started doing behind the scenes for music videos. Mm. I had that connection with the hip hop, you know, er this whole hip hop area, I knew everybody. Right. So it was easy, it was an easy transition to be like, hey, I'll help you out. Right. So I did that, I connected with models and we, we moved from there, right. you know. Right, I think a lot of people, and again, if they're unfamiliar, cause I'm, I'm just thinking about our specific audience, our, our traditional yeah. audience as we're growing. Um, so some of them may not understand like the the world and the life that is in hip hop and how much yeah. photography is such an important part of it. There's a lot of things that we see and a lot of pieces and portraits of like people like Tupac that don't come out till 20 years later or yeah. or, or Biggie or, or, or Miles Davis or something like that. And you don't realize that there's somebody behind that camera exactly. capturing those moments <laughs> and making it making it so that we can share the those experiences later yeah. on. So I'm, I've always been um, not uh, uh, interested enough to pick up the camera, but fascinated with just that photography means so much to the culture, you know? And it does. Th there's this guy um, named Jamal, actually. Really? Yeah, and he was a <laughs> photographer back in uh, New York City, so I kind of got um, put on it just because, you know, like New York, we got such culture, man, like especially the 80s. We got a ton of culture. Yeah. A ton 80s, of culture. 90s. I'm from Brooklyn, so like, yeah, you know, what's you know up. the vibes. Yeah, like. you, know, you, know what's <laughs> up. you know what's up, exactly. So he was a guy who would like, I love seeing, like, how the train looked in 1980 and then seeing a family on there, exactly. you know, things like that. It's like, oh, the graffiti, right, the, the, right. All, all of it, right, all of right, it. It's, right. it's a part of the culture, you know, and, and that's really where, our, that's our foundation. Hip hop brought us here. Right. You know, hip hop, hip hop brought us here and, you know, we're not forgetting about our, our community. That's, you know, and that's, that was a perfect segue into, into what I was going to say. I love how you continue to just, uh, amplify that that community because it's it's yeah. needed and it's a growing community here i think there is a i'm just going to go ahead and say it. i think we have had a lot of tremendous hip-hop acts come mm. right here on um um whether, whether it was called alibaba i forget that main street but yeah. you know you you think that there's this is such a small area you think you're not going to get that but no we, we got our cardi b's our young ma's our um uh, uh and you did a video uh, the shoot for him i forget his name uh, with the song whoopty CJ. Oh, CJ, yeah, CJ, CJ was here. here. CJ right, was exactly, here. Exactly. Yeah. And you've been uh, in the Fabio, mix. Fabio Foreign was yes. out here. I shot Fabio Foreign. Yes, yes. A couple of her celebrity, a couple couple of dope artists. Yeah, and you are a celebrity here. as well. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you that too. <laughs> you are a celebrity as well. Because we, you know, we see it and then yeah. we see you. Yeah. You know, right in the mix there and to be able to be next to you and to know that you have, like, it's, it's just an honor to be, nah, be able to interview it. you, you know, and to see the trajectory that you're going on yeah. and to know that you, you're doing it from this local space is so refreshing. And it, for me, especially for somebody that wants to remind kids that it can happen from right here. You I know wanna, what I'm saying? And wanna, you're doing it. I want to tap onto that subject. You know, um, this area, it's not... It, just like you said, it's still growing. Right. You know, uh, the hip hop, 
and just our culture in general uh, is on the come up. Mm -hmm. um, I want to be that, I want to help catapult our culture into this community properly, you know, properly. And that's with, that's with making sure that, you know, there's artists that actually get their name heard, their, their visuals, you know what I mean? Get themselves listed properly for their EPKs, mm -hmm. you know, electronic press kits and making sure that they're set up properly. Uh, also, our hip hop industry has really catapulted uh, business ownership. Let's really, let's really put this in perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're shooting a music video, you need a makeup artist, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? You need a camera guy, you need, there's a lot of other things that you need. A lot of people that sell clothes, you know, it just started branching out and building. Now, I'm working with not just hip hop artists, but I'm working with companies. Mm. You know, um, one company that, I, that I've been working with, uh, their, their salon, I created a whole commercial for them. And uh, by the name, their name is Reels. They was actually a part of the, uh, we the love Expo. Reels. Yes. Yeah, the Black Expo that we was a part of uh, like a couple of days ago. Uh, but helping the community in that level, that's going to that's gonna make it to where she'll be able to utilize that commercial and the images on her website, on mm -hmm. Google My Business, on, on things that things that catapult her business. Right, no, absolutely, absolutely. And like, you, you hit it on the nose. I think there's a professionalism that our community wants to, to have a foundational, mm. like, our headshots look clean, our visuals look clean. When you see a picture of our food, it looks clean, you know, exactly. like, whatever, if it's a haircut, it looks good, you know, like, and photography and visual, period, media, everything, it's such a foundational part mm. of that. And to see what you're doing, <laughs> it's beautiful, man. It's, it's beautiful. universal. It's yeah, universal. It's and, and it's one of those pieces where, you know, there's a lot of creators in this area. It's another part of uh, what I wanted to talk about. There's a lot of creators in this area that are not, they don't have those resources, mm. you know, and that's what. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm creating Valentine Next Studios to be, a resource center for creatives. So not only to help myself in regards to my portraiture and what I do for business, but to give, give creatives that opportunity right. and to do it here. Right. You know what I mean? To do it here. The closest photography store that we have here is an hour away, and then the next one is in New York. Mm. You know, so to have, right. that, to have that here is going to be a necessity. We need that right. here. No, absolutely. And so let, let's talk about like what you're building out of this studio. So and I know you were you were up um, you're in downtown in the innovation um, center. Is this the innovation center? Yes. Right? So you're yes. in the innovation center. And now what are you like? I had the opportunity to see it, but explain to people that you, you've hinted to it. What are you doing with the studio space? So uh, I'm doing everything from scratch. By the way, uh, everything. You know, I don't work. This is all I do. Mm. So all of my clients that I get, all of that funnels to, I'm a small business, so it funnels back here. To support the business. Uh, right. What I'm doing is I'm creating a photography studio uh, that has uh, bays so then other photographers can rent space. Mm. The same area, excuse me, the same area that we're sitting in right here is going to be the other opportunity for our seminars mm. and our opportunities for creators and small business owners to give them uh, opportunities. Uh, so this is going to be basically a whole creative space. Uh, uh, we're right here on South uh, Seven South Main Street in Wilkes Barre, so it's right. it's going to be it's going to be huge. Right. Yeah. Right. And I and I, I think that when people have the opportunity to come down, they'll be able to like take the place in and really breathe in and see, like especially for somebody like myself. Yeah. I, I don't consider myself as creative as, as you, but for a creative to be able to get away and be in a space like this is super important. So you said you you have your um, your seminars and then you also have the bays as well that uh, um, artists can, um, other photographers can use. Photographers, video, mm. if you wanna do video, we're gonna have the uh, one of the best psych walls in the area. Mm. So that's, you know, if anyone knows what a psych wall is, a cove is, you know, professionals use it all the time when shooting videos, when doing podcasts. So we'll have all of those opportunities for you. Mm. Nice, that's, that's great to hear. So again, so now we're saying outside of that, what about for for a person like me, what, what are we doing? Do we have portraits? Do you, what do you do, baby shower oh, stuff? I love that, I love that. So what I primarily focus on in my business is maternity, 
uh, personal branding and portraiture. Mm -hmm. You know, so those are my primary pieces. I, I do focus on events, but you know, my primary, uh, my primary business is maternity portrait and as personal branding. So if you're a business, I can help you out with creating creating uh, shots that will be marketable for your business, for Google, for your website, for the stuff that's gonna bring business your way. Bet, bet. Hey. And any, uh, okay, perfect, thank you. Any last shout outs, last minute yeah, shout outs? I mean, la last minute shout outs, uh, I wanna shout out my wife, you know, my wife Fabiola Valentine. She's one of the, she's one of my big my rocks, my foundation. If I didn't have her, you know, obviously I'd, I'd be probably doing something else. <laughs> I'd be doing something else. Uh, so, you know, my kids uh, and every, everybody that's, everybody that's supported Valentine X Studios, uh, I do have a marketing background, but what I used is my community. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Grassroots. You know, we, we went to the Black Expo in the casino. We took photos for business owners. You know, we helped out with making sure that they had that opportunity. And we're going to continue growing within the community. And we really want y'all to grow with us and be a part of our team. Yeah. Definitely. Love, love to hear that. And you said a good thing, man. We might have to, this might be a sneak peek into something in the future, but he who finds a wife finds a good thing, man. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. And, and it's great to see and hear that you ha are supported. Um, and from our standpoint, we want you to know that we support you and, and we are rooting for your success and, and we know it's coming. Definitely. So good luck and <laughs> we'll be in touch, man. We'll yeah. definitely be communicating and you'll see a lot more of us together for sure. So Appreciate you. No man. problem. Appreciate all of you guys at the NAACP, man. You guys really, you know, hold it down for the community. And uh, a little tidbit, I was in, the, I was a part of NAACP and LCCC. Hey! You know what I mean? So you got, you got a brethren over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love and I, man. Peace. <laughs>